Hi everyone. Perhaps you are wondering what a recession is. Let's discuss now. A recession we define as a significant drop in economic lasting for months or years. A recession can simultaneously reduce all economic activity, including employment, investment, and corporate earnings. During the last three global recessions of the last three decades, in 1970s, which the IMF or International Monetary Fund revealed in April in 2002. Global per capita output growth had been zero or negative. Not just the economic situation that year but as a global recession. In 2009, IMF defined a global recession as annual real-world GDP reduction, like industrial production, trade, capital flows, oil consumption, unemployment, per capita investment and per capita consumption. In 2020, the world rounded into a second largest global recession in the same history due to COVID-19 lockdowns and other government actions taken in early 2020. As a result of problem and cutbacks in agricultural profits in the late 1920s, Australia experienced the greatest recession in this entire history in 1931 and 1932. After the October 1987 stock market has crashed and another recession or Black Monday occurred in the early 1990s. The Eurozone experienced a recession in 2012. The 17 regional economics did not grow in any quarter of the 2012 calendar year. The recessions evened in the fourth quarter on this year, affecting all the economies of France, Germany, and Italy. The largest recession to hit UK was the 2020 recession which was attributed to the global COVID-19 pandemic and was the first recession since the Great Recession. Before proceeding this video, please subscribe this channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell. During the 2007 until 2009, recessions, private consumption fall for the first time 
in almost two decades. The show's depth and severity of the recession. Consumer confidence was very low, and the economic recovery took a long time. U.S. consumers were hit hard by the Great Recession, with home prices falling and the stock market depleting retirement savings. The balance between production and consumption or the purchasing power of people is the foundation of economic growth. However, when balance between production and consumption is disrupted, problems arise in the business circle. When individuals and business men are heavily in debt and are notable to pay their bills, it can lead to bankruptcy and turn the economy upside down. Inflation is a price trend that is stable and increases over time. However, as a if Inflation could endanger a recession. Deflation is when prices fall over time, wages fall, and prices fall further. When deflation subsides, people and businessmen stop pandering affection the country's economy. The effects of the recessions are availability of goods and factories or reducing production, termination of employment leading to much employment and poverty. That's the explanation for the recession. I hope you have understood this video to the end. Thanks for watching. See you later.